Okay. Okay, good afternoon everyone. That's all. Good afternoon everyone. My name's Jeff Rich, drummer from a band called Status Quo. You might have heard of them. And for the younger ones, you haven't heard them, I'm sure your mums and dads have. Um, I'm going to be talking today about drums, gush and whatever, and then later on I'll be joined by my good friend Mitch, who as you know is the, the Mayor of Lynn Shopping. Um, <laughs> He must be, because he knows so many people. He's got to be in there, isn't he? And um, also, um, Giovanni, bass player over there. And we're going to be playing a few songs for you later on as well. What a great afternoon. You're so blessed, aren't you? Fantastic. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to go back and give you an idea of how I start, first started playing drums in my career. Um, I started, got interested in drums when I was about nine years old. I started uh, with a biscuit tin, my mum's knitting needles, tapping away on this biscuit tin. Eventually I said to my parents, I want a snare drum. Unfortunately, my parents didn't have a lot of money, so I had to do it myself. I did Saturday's jobs, working as a paper round, things like that. And eventually, when I could get the money, I bought this snare drum. And over the next few years, I'll get the money, bought bass, drum, toms, cymbals. By the time I got into my secondary school, I was playing a full drum kit. Once I got into my secondary, my secondary school, I met up with a guitarist and a bass player and a keyboard player. We formed a group. And we started playing concerts in the school and outside the school, playing lots of groups for the years, got to 16, took my exams. And eventually, I was about to think about going to university when I got the chance to turn professional. I went into a club in London. I made a name for myself as a drummer in London. Eventually, I got into playing into recording studios. I started off by playing on TV adverts, Kellogg's Cornflake adverts, car adverts. And eventually, I got to play on records, singles, albums for different people. Did that for a few years. Then I decided I wanted to get into a group. The band was called Stretch. I passed an audition. We recorded a single, which was a hit. It was the first time I'd ever appeared on an English program called Top of the Pops. How many of you have seen Top of the Pops, by the way? I should think a lot of you have seen Top of the Pops. Yeah, the original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah so uh, I got on Top of the Pops. Uh, I noticed a couple of strange things when I got on Top of the Pops. Firstly, the cymbals on the kit were plastic, and on the drums themselves, there were rubber pads on the drums. Any idea why? No idea at all. You want me to tell you? Well, I've done Top of the Pops as well. Yeah. <laughs> the reason they were like that is because we never played on Top of the Pops. We mimed. So the reason they put the pads on and the, the, the plastic cymbals, you can make as much noise as you like, but you can still hear the track coming through the speakers. And that is why we, we used to have that with that on the kit. So um, after that band, we to get that. I played with all, lots of other groups. A girl called Judy Zook, the Climax Blues Band, Death Leopard. Uh, I was with Status Quo for a long time, 16 years. Unfortunately, a couple of years ago, we lost one of our members, a chap called Rick Parfit. Um, since then, the band have been doing bits and pieces. I've, I do a bit of recording now and again with them. I stopped working them because I never saw my kids grow up. I was away for 16 years, constantly touring, and my kids grew up and I never even saw them. And I, I remarried, I've got two little ones. And I wanted to be there next time for the kids, and that is why I decided to leave there. Um, I, I go around schools in England doing percussion workshops for students. I've got my own band as well. We're releasing our second album. The band's called Triple J. You can listen to it on um, Spotify, different different uh, platforms, or on iTunes. Great band, blues rock. Um, we're just finishing our second album, and then we'll be out doing gigs later on in the year. So that's my crew up to date. Um, as you can see, I've got a snare drum in front of me. Have we got any drummers in here today, by the way?
Catch you on the rice. 